Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Score Center. Dave here, aka Scory, and it's a delight to have your company for. We've got round 14 AFL tips coming up. We'll also check in with the comp. We've got the eBay top 10 highest selling Australian and international cards in the last week on eBay. And for probably maybe the first time that I can remember at least, the uh, Aussie number one sold for more than the uh, international number one. So that rarely, rarely, if ever happens. So that's super exciting and it's something I've never seen before. So that is uh, absolutely something to look forward to. And of course we uh, have, uh, what do we do after the eBay? We do the, uh, the predictors and the highlight and rising star cards. First, let's get into the tipping and let's look back at last round, round 13. I got five tips correct. We uh, started off with a couple of duds. I went for the Crows in Adelaide and Richmond pipped them by uh, eight points there. And uh, also I uh, tipped the Bulldogs against the Lions and the Lions got that win there. Then Hawthorne over the Giants. That was a bit of a thriller. I, uh, yeah, was, um, you know, my theory, I always like to go for the Hawks when they're in Tassie and that just, that just worked for me again. Um, and then we had North Melbourne celebrating their first victory of the year. So congrats, Ruse. Ooh, nice one. Um, again, wow. More umpiring decisions. Well, look, I went for the Saints. The Saints got the win. Oh, well, I'll take that. I'll take that win. Um, Swans over the Cats. We had the Blues over Essendon. And then, we, of course, we finished on Monday. There was a lot of, uh, a lot of um, anticipation to see how the Demons would respond to the drubbing in Alice Springs. And well, you can see there, the Pies had a very comfortable win on Monday. So... Let's go to round 14. This Friday, we have the Lions taking on the Saints. And I... Look, the Lions lost a lot of games at the Gabba earlier this year. But I feel like against the Saints, they... Surely, surely they can't lose this game. We'll go for the Lions, but... Uh, maybe we'll go for... Let's say 19 points. Then Saturday Arvo, we've got the Bulldogs taking on Frio. And I'm gonna tip the Bulldogs there. Then Saturday afternoon, we've got Richmond taking on Hawthorne. Hawthorne are the favorites, but surely the Tigers have to lift for Dusty's 300th game. So I am going for Richmond solely because it's Dusty's 300th. They, that's, that's gotta do something for them. Saturday night, Adelaide Oval. We've got the Crows v Swans. We're going for the Swans there. Sunday afternoon, we've got North Melbourne taking on the Pies at Marvel. Going for my Pies. I don't think the Roos are going to go back to back there, unfortunately for them. Then we finish things off with the Giants and Port Adelaide. I'm going to go for the Giants there. Okay. Now, of course, we've only got six games uh, coming up. We've, we've got the buys coming up. Um, we've had a few buys. Let's have a look at the comp. Let's have a look at how everybody is doing. We'll get the top 10 there. And then we'll have a look for round 13. Crow set. Well done. Crow set Andy C. You are the top tipper for round 13 with five tips and a round 13 margin of eight which is the same margin for Josh and Izzy, but you have a better total margin. So you are in a first spot there. But then, yeah, like I say, it's very, very close. Uh, Guns and Roses came second with also five tips and a margin of eight. Izzy AFL cards, third spot um, with a uh, five tips and a margin of eight. Then we have Golf King 24, Alex. In fourth spot, we've got Dylan G in uh, fifth. One, two, three, four, five, yep. And the scorey, there I am with my five tips. We have Harry S, Brisbane Lion fan. We have Curtis P, Pen, Pen, Penberry, Penberry. I like that. Uh, Quaddy, Quaddy is in the top 10. Nice, nice to see Quaddy. And then we've got Lenny's Pies, Lenny, nice. Nice top 10. 
Ben, let's have a look overall. We have Ben Day, Ben Day 24 in top spot with 75 tips overall. Total margin of 407. We've got Peter in second spot, PC Demons, just one tip behind on 74. Then we've got two people on 73. So it's super, super close. Dylan and Brownie, both on 73. Then, oh, I'm, oh, there you go. There I am on 72. I'm not doing too badly. I thought I was uh, pretty crap at tipping, but that's, I will take, I'll take that, absolutely. Um, Guns and Roses, Josh, you're in sixth spot with 71. Uh, Trudy Forever Proud also on 71. We've got Harry S. Brisbane Lion Fan 71. We've got the Todd Father, Caden, in ninth spot with also 71. And then Izzy um, rounding out the top 10 with 70 tips. Wow, we've only got six games coming up this round. Good luck. Every tip counts. Here we go with the eBay top 10 highest selling Aussie cards on eBay Australia between Monday, June the 3rd and Sunday, June the 9th. We kick things off in 10th spot for 680. We've got the Plugger Locket Gold Superstar out of Brilliance 2024 in 9th spot for $700. I don't think I've seen this on the list before. It's the Scott Pendlebury Draft Pick Signature, uh, which you could find in Select Supreme 2006. Pendle's looking very, very young, of course, there. In eighth spot for 750, we have the James Sicily Captain's signature out of last year's Legacy 2023. We love these. And that is card 15 out of 60. In seventh spot for 790, we've got the Josh Gibkus Palladium out of Brilliant 2024. Um, weren't lucky enough to find a Palladium in our box of Brilliance, but um, I just love them. They look so good. Haven't seen one in person, but all, all of the photos that I've seen of them, I'm just always impressed. That was card six of 25. In sixth spot for 800, we've got another gold superstars out of Brilliance 2024. We've got Jason Dunstall, Hawks legend. That is 13 out of 35. Then we have a modern day Hawk hero in fifth spot for 850. We've got the Will Day diamond signature out of a gem 2023. And that is signature five out of 35 for Will Day there. That would have made somebody's day. And then in fourth spot for 900, we've got the Sam Walsh diamond signature, of course, out of gem. And that is 33 out of 35. Then in third spot for 1,100, we have more Hawthorne. We've got the Luke Hodge, Alistair Clarkson, Premiership Captain Coach, Signature Redemption, coming out of Brilliance 2024, of course. And that is uh, 34 out of 50. In second place for 2000, we have the Bob Skilton legend signature, of course, South Melbourne legend. That is uh, his, uh, yeah, legend signature out of Hall of Fame 1996. And like the big bunch that we saw last week, this of course is number 94. And then in first spot, selling for $4,000. We've never seen this on the list before. I've never even actually uh, known of this existing. This is a full set, including the original packaging of a uh, rugby league collection of Australian Kangaroos, the, the national team. Um, a set that was released by Stamina Trousers. And so it's the full team set. And then you've also, uh, so you've got a selection of uh, some of the cards there. And then you have the backs of the cards. And we can get a closer look of those such. I love these. these so these are from um, Celebrating the 48-49. Uh, that's the touring team of the Australian Rugby Football League. Um, and then each card, of course, has the name of the player, um, their position, uh, and then their age and uh, weight. So there you've got the stamina clothes tailored from Crusader Cloth. This is the sign of the quality you want. Look for it on the pocket of every pair of stamina trousers. 
Um, and then, yeah, as you can see, there's the uh, the little uh, package that the cards came in um, with compliments of the makers of Stamina Trousers. So that is, I love that. Huge, huge, huge fan of when we say these really esoteric uh, trading card things come up, especially, uh, you know, pre-50s is always super exciting. So that is the uh, eBay top 10 for Australian cards. Now let's get into the eBay top 10 international cards selling for the same time period on eBay Australia. And I have to say, I'm pretty sure, if not all of these cards, pretty much all of them have never been on the list before. And there are some absolute doozies. This is such a fun list. I'm so excited for this. So coming in equal 10th for 1,800, we have the Jonathan Kuminga RPA out of National Treasures 2122. We've got a 46 out of 75 for that rookie patch auto graded a nine mint. Then also selling for 1,800, we've got the Michael Jordan Netrageous, not outrageous, it's Netrageous. This came out of Fleer Metal 9697. It's graded a PSA 8. And we love our die cut cards very much. And that is such a 90s looking card indeed. Then in equal eighth spot for 1,900, we have a Branislav Ivanovic Soul of the Game signature. It is a one of one. This is out of Flawless 1516. It is a uh, Beckett 8.5 on that. Um, very, very cool. Then also selling for 1,900, we have an Anthony Edwards downtown out of one and one, 21, 22. It's a PSA nine. Love the downtowns, they're so cool. Just awesome. Then in sixth spot for 2,275, we have a Wemby Revolutionary out of Revolution 2324. Very psychedelic, just crazy. Just so, so psychedelic and yeah, like an acid trip. Then in equal fifth spot for 2,500, we have the Lionel Messi Kaboom. Yeah, up there with the, uh, the downtowns. We love the Kabooms. Um, that was released in 2018. It's a PSA 9 for that. And then also selling for 2,500. It's probably my favorite card on the whole list. I love puns. I, oh, I love my puns. We've got a Kobe Bryant, Duncan Go Nuts. That's, that's my favorite thing this year, I have to say. A Duncan Go Nuts. That's just, oh, that, that is God tier me. Uh, God tier um, punning. I love that. I just love that so much. Um, that, you would find that in Skybox, EX, Century, 98, 99. It's a Beckett, 9. Oh, I love that. And it's also, it's an acetate card um, there. Then, we've got more downtown. We've got uh, an equal third spot for 3,000. We've got a Zion Williams, Williamson, I should say, downtown. Again, out of uh, one and one, this time 1920. Oh, I love these. So good, so good. Then also selling for 3,000, we've got the Luka Doncic slabbed signatures out of Panini encased 1819. It's a very nice autograph, very clean. Very crisp, uh, elegant card. Of course, you would expect that out of a, a, a Panini premium product. That's a Beckett 9.5. And then coming in, oh, and also that's a 12 out of 49, I should say. Then coming in first spot. I love this, this is so cool. Um, selling for 3,350. We have a Wemby. Money Blast, not a Color Blast. This is a Money Blast. Came out of Panini Prism Monopoly. This, I, let's get a better look at that. Look at that money. It, it's a Color Blast, but with money for Monopoly Prism. I, that just, that 
with the Dunkin' Go Nuts, I'm, I'm, I'm in my happy place. That is the eBay top 10 for this week. So let's get into the predictors and we'll kick things off with the Coleman. And we have two players at the top that are really marking out their position as leaders of the Coleman for this year. We've got Ben King. He is on equal 38. He kicked two against the Saints. And then, of course, we have King Charlie Kerno, also on 38. He kicked two goals against Essendon. So they are looking like the players to beat for the Coleman. So when you're opening up your footy stars, you will hoping to pick up a Carlton or Gold Coast Coleman predictor. We've got Jake Waterman, West Coast, continuing his great form. He kicked three goals against North Melbourne to bring his tally to 33. We've got Jesse Hogan on 32 goals. He added one against the Hawks. Harry Mackay is on 29. He added one goal against the Bombers. And then Bailey Fritch, he uh, managed no goals last week. Um, he managed one from a few uh, set shots against the Pies. So his tally is uh, on 28. That's uh, who we're following because uh, we've uh, picked up only uh, the Melbourne Coleman so far. But I don't know. Will on Thursday when we open up more footy stars, we'll be lucky enough to pick up a common predictor of somebody in contention. We will see. Then we turn our attention to the Brownlow, and these are based off the uh, Brownlow predictor points on afl.com.au. We've got Isaac Heaney on 22 still. He didn't uh, add any uh, points. Um, and yeah, it's, it's sort of a bit of a stagnant um, week for the Brownlow predictor. We've got Patrick Cripps uh, on uh, 17, of course. And then uh, we've got Nick Dacos, 16. Chad Warner moves into uh, in, in, onto 16 points. And then we've got uh, Zach Merritt, got Zach Butters, and Errol Goulden. Then let's have a look at the Premiership odds. At the moment, Sydney are still favourites for the Premiership. Then uh, the other contenders in order. We've got the Carlton Blues. We've got the Pies, GWS, and then Geelong, sort of on the outer there. And then when it comes to the rising star, George Wardlaw is uh, currently a favourite. But we've got quite a crop of young players that could win it, including Ollie Dempsey, Colby McKercher, Darcy Wilson, Caleb Windsor, Riley Sanders, maybe even Kai Lohman. Well, that is your predictor watch for this week. Here we go. Highlight and rise and star. Time. Pull that pouch out. God. Pull that receipt out. And what do we have left? We've got the iconic black pouch. And we've got two highlight and rise and star cards. I can see a pies logo. That's got me excited. Here we go. We have round 11 match saving mark, March, uh, mark of the year contender. We have Leek Alia GWS as the round 11 highlight. And then we are going to have, we have Harvey Harrison, Rising Star nominee for round 11 for the Pies. Great young player here uh, again, Sean on the uh, the King's birthday game. Fabulous young player. Lee Clear, another great player. Let's have a look. We'll, uh, maybe we'll look at the uh, round 11 highlight number first. We'll leave Harvey for second. We have number 51 out of 143. And let's have a look at Harvey. 248, we're 248 of 369. There you go, well done both of you. That's around 11 highlight and rising star cards. Thank you very much for joining me today. I will see you back Thursday for footy stars, our team coach on Saturday and NRL traders on Sunday. But until then, take care of yourself, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles and I can't wait to see you next time.